Hello dear colleagues, hope you're doing well. After talking about P-Wave, now we're going to talk about PR interval. First, it is called PR interval and not PQ interval because Q-Wave is not present in all the normal cases of the ECG. At the beginning, the PR interval width, the normal width is between three to five small squares. If it was more than five small squares, it is called prolonged PR interval. And if it was less than three small squares, it is called short PR interval. And each of these is having its causes. Beginning with the prolongation of the PR interval, the most common cause for the prolonged PR interval is AV block. AV block has three types. Beginning with the first degree AV block. Here, the ECG is showing prolonged PR interval and the prolongation is fixed, more than five small squares in all the 12 leads of the ECG. The second degree AV block has two subtypes, Mobitz type one or winky back phenomenon. What is winky back phenomenon? Here, the PR interval prolongation is progressive. That is, you see one PR interval, let's assume that it was, for example, five, four small squares, then the next PR interval in the same lead becomes five small squares, and the other PR interval, the next one in the same lead becomes six small squares, and the next one becomes seven small squares, then you have a dropping of the QRS from the P wave. That is, you are going to have, at the end of the cycle, you are going to have one P wave without any QRS. This is called winky back phenomenon. Coming to the Mobitz type 2. In Mobitz type 2, you see fixed PR interval duration, fixed PR interval duration, fixed PR interval duration in the same lead. Then you are going to have sudden drop of the QRS from the P wave. You will not see any QRS with, with the P wave. What is the difference between Mobitz type 2 and Mobitz type 1? Mobitz type 1, there is progressive prolongation of the PR interval. You are going to have drop of the QRS. In Mobitz type 2, there is not progressive prolongation. There is only fixed PR interval, then sudden drop of the QRS from the P wave. And you can count the number of P waves before the QRS. There is one P wave that has no QRS complex and P wave QRS. How many P waves are there before the QRS? There is one here and the other here. This is called two to one AV block. Two P waves for one QRS. And you may see three P waves before the QRS. This is called three to one AV block. Coming to the third degree AV block, or it is called the complete heart block. Here, the P waves are not related to the QRS. For example, there is P wave, there is another P wave, and then after specific duration, there is QRS, and there is QRS, then P wave, then QRS, P wave, then QRS. The P waves are not related to the QRS. And in complete heart block, there is no complete conduction between the atrium and the ventricle. So, the atrial contraction or P waves are not related to the ventricular contraction or QRS. Coming to the other cause of long PR interval or prolonged PR interval, which is electrolytes. The first cause was AV block and then we are going to talk about electrolytes. The most serious electrolyte disturbance that causes PR interval prolongation is hyperkalemia. And in very high levels of serum calcium, we may have prolonged PR interval. Coming to the shortening of PR interval, as we said, PR interval reflects the conduction of, of the signal from the SA node to the ventricles. So, if there was an accessory pathway in the AV node that makes the signaling pass faster than the normal AV node, this will cause shortening of the PR interval. And this is called pre-excitation rhythm or junctional rhythm because the rhythm is being faster or being signaled from this junction between the atrium and the ventricle or nodal rhythm because the rhythm is being faster at the AV node and one of the common examples on this rhythm is wolf parkinson white syndrome and we are going to talk about it separately in a separate video now in summary PR interval normally between three to five small squares if it was more than five small squares it is called long PR interval and it has causes more common causes is AV block which has three types first, second, and third degree AV blocks. The second cause is electrolytes, like for example, hyperkalemia, and very high serum levels of calcium and hypercalcemia, and may be caused by drugs. Drugs may prolong the PR interval, like for example, beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. And if it was less than three small squares, it's called short PR interval, 
due to big station rhythms or junctional or avionolar rhythms and we said a common example is wolf parkinson white syndrome hope you have enjoyed the video if you like the video please share it with your friends see you in the next videos goodbye